Hi, good morning. This is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and it's morning here in Arizona. A little bit bearable now, but in all of the temperatures is during this August is really hot about 45 to 47 Celsius or 115, 117. And I explained a lot about my uh, photovoltaic system at 18 kilowatt peak. Because I hear 27 panels and then there are a couple of panels there. And then here on the other side, here are 36 panels on that roof. But I did not explain a lot of my power wall. And that's what I want to do now. And this comes after the intro. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Yeah, here's my power wall. Uh, it's uh, at the roof here. There's a six foot roof on top of that on the north side of the house. And uh, it should be protected a little bit. And then you can see here. There are five power walls attached and then here is Oscar's car or my car what I released out to Oscar. I keep it here until uh, he's coming back and keep it uh, in protection and charged. And there's my roadster standing here in the back. Here there's not a, not a level to top over this. And yeah, this is my power wall, five power walls actually. And I would like to tell you something about the power wall. Especially because sometimes I'm thinking that the power wall <coughs> is more working for the electric company here in town as for myself. And I'm going to show you a whole bunch of pictures about how the power wall is behaving. In the beginning, the power wall was actually not adjusted correctly and didn't show the right figures. But then an engineer looked at that when I put a ticket in place really pretty fast and uh, he said now the settings are right and the settings are so right that they are by uh, just a few percent uh, correct to what the power company give me with ex gave me with the exception of one month but uh, let me explain you something about how the power wall works and 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 all of the pictures and the movies what I do when the power wall charges discharges and so on yeah, and, uh, we want to explain a little bit, or I try to explain a little bit about how the power wall is reacting. And so first I have to tell you that I'm on net metering on a plan which is a, a 929 plan. So it is 9 o'clock in the morning, there is one rate of power what I have to pay, and nine up, up to 9 o'clock in the night. Basically they call it on peak. And then nine o'clock in the evening to nine o'clock in the next morning, it's off peak. But I produce in during that time so much energy that I had to reverse it around because they are basically charging me a lot of distribution charge during the night. And the distribution fee is more expensive than the electric power. And there's is a pretty good trick what they're using there. And I'm using currently net metering. And that net metering uh, means that I can give it back into the grid and I take it at that time also back. So basically during the night I cannot give it into the grid. Maybe sometimes from 6 o'clock bis 7, 8 o'clock uh, in the summer times I can give something in the grid. But during that time, uh, actually in the year, during uh, March to December, I have my settings as follows. And then I, let me explain you this and I'm running it. So with all of my power wall settings as well. So during that time in uh, March to December, I have off grid at nine o'clock in the morning to, tw to nine o'clock in the evening. And on grid is from uh, 9 o'clock in the evening to 9 o'clock in the morning. And I have to do it this way because I otherwise I pay a lot of distribution fee 
and I don't want to do that. So the only time in the year where I don't do it is between January and February, then I switch it around. So now let me explain you some of the power wall settings which I came across. So here is uh, my power wall is discharging. I always had it on uh, advantage, that means on, on saving. And it is uh, quarter to seven, high time, and I'm using 11 kilowatt and I'm taking it out of my power wall during the off-grid time. That's not correct. It should not be like that because it's not from this car, it's, uh, it's from the Model S. I'm charging there during the time. I tried to find that out. And the voltage is I'm taking, I notice that a lot of time is low. And that is being very busy time when people are coming home. Now, this is a different time I'm taking off my power wall, a little bit from the grid and from the sun. This is 9.30 in the morning. And 9.30 in the morning is me in my power wall, maintained as off-grid as well. But, and it's as cost-saving. But I don't understand why I'm taking it uh, from my power wall. I should take it off-grid because I don't care. I have enough buffered energy over the course of the year, what I start collecting in March already, and I shouldn't take it from my power wall. Here's another, and that's the case. I take it from my power wall, sometimes a little bit from the grid. I should take everything from the grid, and in here at 11 o'clock, I push into the grid. And that could be normal because I don't have any consumption. This one is also funny, quarter to one o'clock, uh, I'm pushing into the grid and into home uh, at certain of certain time here into the grid and into my home because I'm consuming there a little less. And here all of a sudden I'm discharging at the same time, taking it from my grid, from my power wall and a little bit from my solar, but pushing more into the grid I needed to because that's off grid time. I should not do that with uh, 0.7 here. I should... Uh, should take everything from my solar and put it directly into my home and not taking a portion of that from my power wall in the middle of the day. This stresses the discharge of the battery. It stresses the discharge of the battery because uh, I is not need to do so. And in the, in the beginning, I had an engineer, the, the settings were completely wrong. He, I put a, put a ticket in place and he, put, and he did it. And here is also a case is that is a quarter to five in the afternoon, and I have it on the settings, and it's discharging, but I should take it from the grid, actually. Another case here, it is I push everything in the grid and I take something from my power wall. No, I have enough power, don't put it into the grid. I take it, don't take it from my power wall. Here, this one is also strange. I take it from my power wall and push it into the grid. Now it's from the grid into the home consumption and a portion of my power wall, but it's a quarter to nine, it shouldn't happen. I should take everything from the grid at that time. So these settings are very strange and sometimes I'm looking at that a lot of times and uh, according to the settings that should not happen and I don't know why that happens. I'm pushing back into the grid from my power wall. Basically, I give him something and it looks like, hey, did Tesla make a deal with the power company APS so that I'm supporting them in case of a crisis and they need power and I'm pushing my power back. There are 70 kilowatt in the power wall when they are full charged. It could, could be that they need it. So, and these are my suspicions. If you guys know it is a little bit better, explain me. Here, I'm taking uh, in, the, in the evening something from my power wall and something from my grid. Because why should I take something, everything from a grid? It is also half past four in the afternoon. I'm pushing into the grid, but I'm taking something from the power wall to support my home? No, I should not discharge my power wall at this time. So, and that's why I'm watching my power wall many times. I watch it in order to find out why is this the case? Why is the power wall behaving like that? Because I called it hey, this is off-grid, so it means take it from the grid. Off-grid for me means take it from the grid. Here, I'm taking it for even from my own power wall and my photovoltaic system. I'm not taking it from the grid as well. 
So that will stress the battery, unnecessarily stress the battery. And when I'm saying, hey, take it from the grid, take it from the grid. So I, I don't care for the grid, really. They don't care about me. This is an ideal situation here. This is 11 kilowatt from the power wall goes 11.1 kilowatt in the home consumption. This is uh, an equilibrium, and it takes it all away. Uh, this one is also taking a partial from the grid, a partial from the power wall at 9 o'clock in the morning. After 9 o'clock in the morning, should not do it. Should take it from the, from the grid, the remaining thing, and not from the power wall. That is not the right thing to do. Yeah, what else? Uh, also here, same thing. Portion from the solar photovoltaic system, portion from the power wall at 12 o'clock noon should not happen. Another time, portion from the photovoltaic system, portion from the power wall at 7 o'clock in the evening. I know that there is electricity needed at 7 o'clock in the evening, but that is the problem of the power company. That's not my problem. Here, I'm taking everything at uh, half past seven for my power wall, but it should take everything from the grid. But this is a busy time for the grid, and I'm actually easing up the grid from my power wall consumption. And uh, this is not the settings what I wanted, really. Uh, 12 o'clock also, taking from the grid and during the day. Here, taking partially from, taking from the grid, taking from the power wall, taking from photovoltaic system to fill it up. Should have been taken all the way from the grid. That's it's not correct. That's why I'm watching that, how the power wall is reacting. Pushing it into the grid and at 8.30, that's correct, because that is, uh, for me, uh, peak time, at least the most of the time of the year is peak time. Here, taken from power wall, taken from the grid, pushing 1.1 kilowatt into the grid and then taking it again pushing it in, and then taking it again. So, uh, but just right after that, also don't understand that. This must be, uh, voltage is low, uh, I give it to them, voltage is a little bit higher, I'm taking it from them. I'm balancing out their grid. And that's, I want to get paid for that. Uh, and here, power wall at before nine o'clock. Uh, this one is taking from the grid and taking from solar, that's correct. Uh, also at 9.30. That's how it's supposed to be from here. That is the correct settings. Now this one is taking it from the grid, taking it from my power wall at 4 o'clock afternoon. Uh-uh, can happen that way. So if you guys find that out, why it is that way, it is, looks like it, there was a deal being cut between uh, the folks from... Uh, from Tesla because they couldn't sell their photovoltaic uh, panels there because their APS and a a SAP, the power companies here in Arizona, made a lot of problems with them and they somehow came to an agreement. Even the agreement was they, they purchased power packs from Tesla here in Arizona and SAP to balance out their own grid, their internal grid there. And the only difference was is those power packs could not be labeled. There were white power packs. There were white wear, and they could not be labeled with Tesla. But this seems to be a backdoor agreement that all of our power walls and everything is helping in order to balance the grid. I notice that especially when I'm pulling from the grid and the voltage is low, I see it from my cars, what they measure the voltage for that. If the voltage is low, um, basically, also, if I have it off-grid time, it's not pulling it from the grid. It's sometimes pulling it from the power wall or partially pulling it from the power wall. And that's what I also don't understand. Why are you partially pulling it from the power wall? You should not partially pull it from the power wall when it's off-grid time because I just want to take it from the grid. I want to use also the grid as a battery because they charge me for that. At the, at the end of the year, I get 2.7 cents. These are actually pennies and it's not worth it. And then I get about 100 or 150 dollars for a whole bunch of kilowatt. I should probably get 500 or 600 dollars for probably my neighbor will pay for that with 15 cents per kilowatt where I'm only 
getting at the end of year 2.7 cents per kilowatt for that. And uh, well, it's not fair as well, but at least I've taken that metering and my power wall and the assumption for that and how I do that is being balanced out. So that one shows uh, everything goes into the power wall. So then the next one, so that one is pretty good. That shows, let me show this one, that shows how I usually do that. Let me hold that and let me stop that picture. So uh, during the morning, I'm gonna charge my ro uh, roadster and it goes to about 12 o'clock. Uh, then it lowers down a little bit. Then after that, I charge the Model S and then after that, I charge maybe the Model S or the Model X in the afternoon. I charge the Model S with about 41 amp, and so it's about 12, 11, 12 kilowatt, 11 kilowatt, something like that. And with uh, 7, 8 kilowatt in the afternoon for the Model X. And then I'm filling up the rest, and some portion of that goes into the grid. Yeah, basically. Uh, that was also how I gonna manage that. What I also want to do is I want to is basically try that Tesla auto charge, which Christian did in Germany. So where uh, there's a better balance about how much do I give back into the grid. So basically how much do I charge my power wall with? How much do I charge the car with? What has the threshold value? Tesla will offer that in the future as well somehow a threshold value. But what I want to do is how much do I charge during the day and uh, how much uh, for my cars, how much is my base consumption for that. Basically this whole curve, I want to balance completely out. The whole curve of the electricity production, I want to balance it out and I will have fill it up with own home consumption or with consumption for my, uh, for my cars. And then my cars will turn on or turn off or adjust how much they can consume so that is nothing being taken off or on the grid. Uh, the reason for that is which I really will not want to balance the grid. And actually this technology, what they're doing right now with me is they are training me in how to be self-sustaining. So they're training me of how to be autark off the grid. So that's how they train me. I told them that many times and uh, they don't want to deal with me with, uh, hey, I'm giving you the electricity during the day and I'm taking you uh, taking electricity during the night where you have an overproduction. They're wasting 50 megawatt every day uh, because they have to destroy nuclear power generated. Nuclear power plant has to go. The coal plant has to go as well. It's not easy to power them down, uh, shut them down that easy. Yeah, that's all. And if you like that, please subscribe to the channel and talk to you next time. Bye-bye. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure